going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Remember, I'm rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the whole summer transfer window. So if you want to stay up to date, first and fast on YouTube, Every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news, make sure you have subscribed to my channel, it is free. Also don't forget social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and search for me and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, 300 likes is the aim and also don't forget as well to let me know your thoughts or what you make of these transfers in the comments below. So let's crack on with this video, we've got some content contract news and we've got the very latest on Manuel Akanji. Now the Daily Star have said that Akanji, he's set for a big bumper pay rise at Manchester City after an impressive debut season with the club. Manchester City still holding Akanji in high regard. He's not going to struggle for game time next season even with Josko Gavardio potentially arriving at Manchester City. Manuel Akanji has to be one of the bargains of last summer for Manchester City. He has had a brilliant campaign. I do not know if it's included in the terms of his current contract that if he meets several criteria, he gets a bumper pay rise or whether it will just simply be a new contract with a new extension, more than likely an extra year put onto his deal, and then he will get his big pay rise at Manchester City. But I do have to say, Akanji has been outstanding. Versatile for Manchester City, adaptable, always thinking, always willing to do the hard work, the hard graft, trains really well, plays really well. He has been a cracking signing for Manchester City and, in my opinion, fully deserving of a contract extension. Now, moving on to the outs, we've got the latest on Manchester City youngster Savinio. Now, Fabrizio Romano has said Savinio, he's a wanted man across Europe on loan. Not a permanent transfer, but on loan. Girona, right now, showing the most interest. Other clubs are interested. PSV Eindhoven, Sporting Braga, AS Roma, some big prestigious European clubs being linked with the Manchester City youngsters. So Girona got a big battle on their hands. I imagine the two things have got going in their favour. Number one, the part of the City football group gives you an automatic advantage. And number two, they might be able to offer him more playing time and guaranteed starts ahead of maybe what PSV, Braga and what AS Roma can. Girona haven't got a great track record when it comes to developing Manchester City's young players when they head out on loan there. They tend to try and develop uh, their own players unless they've really got something to offer. And I'm hoping with the competition out there for Savinio that this will be something different for Girona and it will be a full season of development with him getting plenty of first team minutes, first team opportunities and first team starts. Again, we wait for further uh, developments and clarification on where he's going to end up at this moment in time. That transfer is just in the interest stage. However, speaking of a transfer that is far more developed than just interest, takes us on to Kieran Slicker. Now, he has officially joined Ipswich Town on a permanent deal. He signs on a three-year deal and he arrives on an undisclosed fee. So I had to wish Kieran the very best of luck for the future and also wishing him the very best at Ipswich Town. Hope he goes out there. Hope he, he's able to get his first team opportunities that he'll be looking for and he'll be able to really develop and showcase to the whole footballing community just how good of a goalkeeper he can be so wishing him the very best of luck and thank you Kieran for your service to Manchester City Football Club uh, and another young player heading out of Manchester City to go and spread their football in wings now moving on to the final transfer of the outs gives us an update on Carlos Borges now the Daily Mail say Borussia Dortmund they want Carlos Borges from Manchester City. There is strong interest and strong links with Southampton. They want to sign Carlos Borges on a permanent transfer. They want to develop him. Dortmund, equally as good at giving opportunities to young players, developing them and making them even better. So it'll be interesting here with a little battle going on. Does Borges want to stay in the United Kingdom? Does Borges want to head out to a prestigious European team like Borussia Dortmund and back himself and believe in himself that he can go out there and make it a Champions League club like Borussia Dortmund. One thing I can guarantee, City will have all the clauses included on this deal, regardless of where Carlos Borges may end up. It will be sell-on fees, cheap buyback clauses, 
I personally would like to see uh, Carlos Borges either sent out on loan that we can give him a full year's development, assess the situation for him to return back to the Manchester City first team squad. To me, Cole Palmer leaves, Carlos Borges would be the perfect option to come up to the Manchester City first team squad. Give him a season training with the first team, coaching from Pep Guardiola and assess the situation again next summer but I don't think that that is going to happen it's very much looking like Borges will leave Manchester City and it's looking like it will be a permanent transfer now moving on to the end one story to speak about and of course it is an update on the saga of Josco Gavardio now Fabrizio Romano has put more clarification on this transfer because over the last two or three days it hasn't been great news when it comes to Josco Gavardio potentially signing for Manchester City. City for days haven't been in contact with RB Leipzig. The whole situation's gone very quiet. Manchester City weren't paying uh, RB Leipzig's asking price of 100 million euros and then we was having a discussion about what the holdup is and what are Manchester City looking for. Is it a problem with the finances? Is it a problem with selling players? Well we've had more clarification on what this holdup has been and it is finances. Manchester City, they're willing to pay between 70 to 80 million euros to sign Josco Gavardio from RB Leipzig this summer. Leipzig not happy with this. They will not accept anything below 100 million euros. 100 million euros makes this deal happen. Manchester City do have a little advantage here where Josco Gavardio wants to leave Leipzig and he wants to sign for Manchester City. However, Leipzig are the selling club. They are happy to keep Gavardio at their club for another 12 months and then sell him on next summer. That is their ideal situation unless their value is met. It's very simple, this transfer, as far as I'm concerned. A Man City willing to pay 100 million euros for Josco Gavardio? If the answer is yes, pay it, make the transfer happen. If Man City aren't willing to pay that price, I don't think Leipzig are going to budge. And because of that, they're under no pressure to sell. They've already made a big player sale. They've already made a lot of money this summer. So Manchester City, if they want to sign um, Gavardio from Leipzig, they're going to have to pay that price. And if Man City aren't happy at paying that price and aren't going to pay that price, they may as well walk away, start identifying alternatives now and move on to somebody else for a price that they're happy to pay because they are not going to budge. They're under no pressure to sell. Um, obviously, Gavardio is a Leipzig player. He isn't going to hand in a transfer request. He's just happy uh, to join Manchester City. He wants to join Manchester City. To me, it's a simple yet very complicated transfer deal. And I feel like it's Manchester City that are making it complicated as we're not paying the asking price. We've known what the asking price is now for weeks. Heels are being dragged. Now, discussions are ongoing between Manchester City and Leipzig. Fabrizio Romano has said that talks have continued, they've resumed. From Thursday, Manchester City, Leipzig are once again talking about the fee. Fabrizio Romano does say that talks are advancing, not stalling, they're advancing. All uh, comps, uh, they're happy. So Manchester City, Leipzig, Gavardio, they are all happy. The clubs, the player, the happy, the relaxed. The deal 100% still on, negotiating the fee, trying to bring it down. I don't think this fee is going to be brought down. Are Manchester City going to pay the asking price for Leipzig to sign Josco Gavardio? That is the big question when it comes to this transfer. To me, it's getting to the point where it's either yes or no. And I imagine over the next week, we will get further clarification on that. Are Manchester City going to walk away or are Manchester City going to pay the asking price that they're looking for? We'll have to wait and see. Big update for all clubs, all parties. Very happy, very relaxed. Deal 100% still on. Talks are advancing. Each day it gets closer and closer and closer. Hopefully over the next seven days we'll be able to get that big breaking news and we'll be able to find that agreement for Josco Gavardio to become a Manchester City play, uh, player. Personal terms, not a problem. Length of contract, wage, not a problem. Medical, won't be a problem. Uh, so it's all about this fee with RB Leipzig. When we get the news that an agreement is found, hopefully, fingers crossed, then I'll be the first to bring it to you guys. So make sure if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Remember, daily Manchester City transfer updates rolling throughout all of the summer transfer window to keep you guys up to date, first and fast on YouTube with all the latest Manchester City transfer news. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos 
or any general business inquiries, TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. Also, don't forget as well uh, to leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. And finally, do let me know your thoughts, what you make of these transfers in the comments below. And religiously, I'll see you again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>